how do you feel about this career? I feel great about having this career. Uh, it's one of the only ones that I wanted, and I'm glad I'm actually able to do it successfully. How did you decide to become an actor? Um, I was put into a lot of things when I was a kid, being soccer, painting, music, anything you could think of. And at the tender age of 12, my dad asked me, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? And I chose acting. And that has been my 9 to 5 job for the rest of my short-lived, uh, but hopefully ongoing life. How would you describe your specialty or type? My specialty or type? My, my, jeez. That's, I mean, specialty in what way? That's the question. That's the question. How am I special? What makes me special? I feel like everyone's unique in their own way, because what makes a person normal? Nothing. Because everyone's a different, unique snowflake. I'm constantly being surprised on what's weird to me and what's normal to another. So I think I am special just being special. Who's your favorite actor who you look up to? Richard Harris. Don't need anything to think about that. What would your ideal job be? Stripper. Without a doubt. Do you consider yourself to be lucky? No. Well, I mean, no. No, I don't consider myself to be lucky. I, uh, I consider myself fortunate. I consider my, and it, there's a subtle difference. There's a difference. Lucky is things come to you with ease without you having to work with it. Fortunate can be work being paid off, and I think that's what I am. What did you do before? Um, before this, I sold, <laughs> I've only had one job. I sold candy in my dad's uh, uh, income tax business uh, across the street from a church, and I was maybe six years old, and that was the last job I ever had before I became an actor. Would you rather have a car or a diploma? Car. Which diploma? College or high school? Either. If it's high school, I'd rather have the high school diploma than the car, but if it's college, I'd rather have the car than the diploma of college degrees. Diploma. You guys get it. How do you feel about globalization? See, now, I, I have so many different minds and thoughts. It's just your general question of, of globalization being all the globe becoming one. Is that what you're... Yeah. I think it's great. <clears throat> well, I think it, will I think it happens? No. Everyone's too different and has different mindsets and views that uh, it's probably not going to happen. But it would be beautiful to have it, of course. And I think, uh, I think if it ever happens, that's going to be key to, to, to helping this world and, and kind of making sure it's all good and all sane and not messing it up. What do you think about the amount of stuff people buy? Being a, people, being a person who buys a lot, I don't judge anyone. So I think it's fine that people buy these things, um, <clears throat> but I always, for myself anyway, when I buy something, I, I make sure to have a reason or a necessity or, you know, some sort of justification for it, you know, either I worked really hard for this or, you know, this is a present for someone or this is something I need, you know, so I think, um, I think if you just buy to buy, it's not really the smartest thing to do, but you are you, and who am I to say anything, but that's my, uh, my rules for buying things. Would you rather live the American way or be a socialist? The American way? I don't know the difference. I live Tony's way. <laughs> what does the American way mean to you? The American way means cheeseburgers and um, white picket fence and, you know, that's uh, uh, Texas meat, and that's 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 my mind of American way. But it also could be. That's what I can explain the American way as. But it could also be many different things as you know, Mexican American, Asian American, African American, so many different types of American. It's all just the same way. So that's why I like to say I live the Tony way. What does the future look like to you? Blank, like a canvas. Um, and I'm the painter, painting with smocks. How do you feel about having children? I want them. So bad. <laughs> Four. Two girls, two boys. I've thought about this way too much. Can you tell me what conflicts or challenges the world is facing today? 
Jeez. I can say, yeah, a lot. <coughs> uh, let's see, there's uh, global warming. Uh, there's traffic in LA, which is a huge problem for the world, just in case uh, you didn't know that. And wars, um, poverty, and many different things. But overall, I think we can make this world a better place as long as you take one step at a time. Uh, if you, as a person, make the first step, the next person's going to follow lead, and the next person, and the next person, until we're all doing it, and then it'll, uh, it'll hopefully be better. Because who am I to say the future will be better if we do that? No one. I'm just a human, and uh, we hope so. But we'll see. What's your favorite way to communicate? My favorite way to communicate? Screaming. Uh, yelling. I love yelling and I love arguing. Oh my god, that's like my favorite thing. I'm a Taurus, which I've heard means I argue a lot. Uh, I don't believe in astrology, but I guess that's the one thing that I... It's very, very true. I argue a lot. But I love it. It's playful and uh, that's probably my... You were probably meant social media or and or text and call, but I, I, I said I said, uh, I said the other answer, so hopefully that'll be okay. <laughs> what do you think of the creative scene in Los Angeles? I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's very criminalized uh, with certain like graffiti artists who are absolutely amazing, but because it's not accepted, it's not considered an art, even though it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And you have people like Mr. Cartoon or Banksy that are able to do it, but then not the rest of the world. What makes them different? Art is art, and I think everyone should be allowed to do it if they believe it's art. And uh, who, are, who are we to, you know, judge what it is and who you are? What is your favorite book, film, and music right now? Book. Oh, God. Okay, so if you asked me yesterday, it would have been The Odyssey. If you asked me today, it's Ready Player One. If you ask me tomorrow, who knows? Music? Um, <clears throat> Mumford & Sons, probably. Their new album came out, and I'm just non-stop listening to that uh, and you said movie mm -hmm. movie movie mo movies are difficult movies are very difficult for me it's hard for me to have like a favorite favorite but I would say right now would probably be the fields Richard Harris the fields with Sean Sean Bean and yes he does die in that film as well um, but yeah <laughs>